Hi everybody, how are you? So, we are finally back to compile our project for PWA. So, to get started, we have a file in Quasar project that is the Quasar config.js. This file has some configuration um, and it has a section for PWA application. It has a section for some configurations and it has an option that is called manifest with some options inside. Uh, that options are the options that are going to the manifest file that is used for PWA applications. So here we have the name, the short name description, the orientation, some colors, and the icons for the application. So if you need to change something, we can go. You can go here and change that. And for the icons, uh, we have to generate them. So what I made is I get um, an icon, I generate an icon from a website, this icon, and I'm going to use this icon as a base for all the icons that I'm going to use for this application. So, so uh, PWA applications require icons in many different sizes, so I don't want to mm, create them uh, manually, so Quasar has a tool called Icon, Icon Genie that generates all the icon size for you. Uh, it generates the icon size for Android, for iOS, for PWA, so it is really, really, really useful. So in this case, uh, you can go, you can come here in the installation, installation section to install the Icon Genie is going to be available for in global it is not a, a package for the project it's a global package and after install you can come here to see the commands it has and we are going to use the command generate and inside the generate we are going to use some some options okay we are going to call the icon genie generate and we are going to pass the path of our file, okay? So let me just come back some folders and we are going to use the icon genie and I'm going to pass the icon that I have that is going to be used for the base, okay? So let's press enter it's going to generate all the icons for me We just need to wait and make all the job for us. It also creates the splash screens. Okay, done. And let's see the output. Everything is okay. In this case, this tells us that we need to add these links for to the uh, index template. Okay, so let's copy, come here and index template, last past, uh, I think I'm going to replace all this icon that it already has, and let's just save it, okay? And now, let's go back to the terminal. And now I'm going to compile the project for PWA. To compile the project is very simple. We just need to Quasar build and the platform name we are going to compile. In this case we are going to compile for PWA, okay? So let's just press enter. Let me pause the video because it's going to take a while. Okay, so now the project is built. So if I come here to the Visual Studio Code, I can see that it has, I have now a source PWA. That is a, a folder with all the code needed for PWA. If you need to change some code, you can come here. And Quasar has already gener uh, has also generated a folder inside the this folder for the PWA. So here we have the compiled PWA application. So let's try to 
use this application. To do that I'm going to enter on the disk folder PWA and I'm going to use the PHP to create a server to test if the application is working correctly. So let's come now to the browser in the URL I choose for the server and the application loads, the icon loads here and if I come here to install the application because it is a PWA you can see that I have the icon that I generated by the Icon Genie. So let's install the application. The application opens now, opens now in a separated window with, uh, the, with the colors uh, chosen by the um, by the um, in the manifest in the configuration config, config file the quasar config file in the manifest section and now uh, I also am going to upload this project to search the same way we did with the SPA application we are going to upload this project to search so let's just type search and the project is that project let me choose a uh, URL I'm going to choose notes PWA okay okay done so now let's copy the URL let me come back here to the previous URL and let me uninstall this application before install the new one from search let's just enter okay application is loading let's wait for the install icon mm. why the install icon does not appear in Okay, let me check. Okay, I just come back using HTTPS and the, now the button to install is available. So let's press and install it. So the application is working. I can come here and notes. The application also works offline because PWA application can work offline. The notice here successfully saved I can come here to my uh, operational system menu and search for the application notes the application is here available and it is there the PWA application is done the next step is, is to build the application for Android thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt please leave a comment and bye bye